Hey guys, Ryan here with Our Indiana Home here in uh, beautiful Monroe County, Bloomington, Indiana. I'm out pretty early. Uh, it's a little, little, uh, little wet, a little chilly, um, but it is in the middle of mushroom season. And um, as you know, I've been uh, taking some walks in, uh, in my close to 20 acres, and um, I've been empty-handed so far. So I'm giving uh, Morgan Monroe Forest a try this morning, and uh, hopefully... Uh, um, I don't come home empty-handed. Um, that'd be sad um, to put up on YouTube, but um, as you know, we keep it real here. And um, so hopefully uh, find some cool things today and find some mushrooms. So see you soon. Hey guys, Ryan here. Um, quick update on today out here at uh, Morgan Monroe State Forest. Um, started out into a uh, uh, grove of hardwood trees and there was a ton of stickers and uh, I couldn't even walk. So um, you know, I like the exercise. I like hiking, but man, I don't like that. So I got out of there, um, found a little more of a clear spot, been doing some walking, obviously checking all the, the typical trees and so on. And so I'm, um, happy to say I found one. Um, so I want to, want to kind of document that a little bit, give you a little bit of, uh, some tips, um, for when, when you do come across something. Um, actually I was, uh, kind of in between, uh, tree to tree. So it just kind of jumped out at me. So I'm um, going to kind of swing the view around so you can see what I saw. And then uh, once you find a mushroom, I want to kind of talk through what to do from there. Okay, so uh, here was my view uh, as I was kind of heading through. And um, kind of see there at the bottom of the screen poking out from the lower left hand corner um, that guy just jumped right out at me and so uh, that obviously was pretty exciting to kind of see that a um, little better view there and I'll get a better close-up um, so we can see that but um, so again I was kind of walking through here and really got about here before I saw that guy and um, so the first thing that I like to do uh, when I spot a mushroom like that is uh, is just stoop down stop walking um, if you've hunted long enough you you've probably stepped on a mushroom before uh, uh, my brother my younger brother will will leave a name out here but um, he uh, almost watered a mushroom once. Um, you do that sort of thing out in the woods uh, when you need to go. So, um, so it's important that you uh, take a take a look around, um, stop walking. So, so what I like to do is get crouched down. You want to get low, um, get a place where your eyes uh, can see low to the ground, and uh, sometimes that's looking up the hill, sometimes that's looking down the hill, and just slowly scan your eyes. Okay. Um, and I think it's also important to know that, you know, again, sometimes these guys are caught up in the brush and the leaves and so forth. Um, and they don't just look like a, a bare mushroom. So get your eyes to it, see it, and then look around again and then see what you can see. And so most, a good rule of thumb with mushrooms is if you find one, there's others. Okay. Um, so I've already kind of spotted around two or three different spots. And again, I'll do this. I'll get kind of in a little catcher stance, get low, crouch around and see what I see. Um, and, and again, we keep it real here. So, um, I thought I was going to have to tell you this is the only one I found. Um, but I did find another one. So going to see if I can circle around here and kind of spot that. This one was a lot harder to see. I'll get a little closer for you. Um, it's definitely a lot harder for me to see. And um, so I'm going to spend a, uh, let me get a little closer so you can see it. Um, and I'm going to spend a little bit more time here kind of scouting this area out. But so again, we've gotten two so far. Um, again, a great rule of thumb is if you see one, there's more. Um, and I think it's important to, you know, take a look for, from some different vantage points, um, because again, these things are going to be hidden under 
on their leaves and and uh, you got some fern in this area here and some other stuff so uh, pretty excited uh, let me get a little bit of a, a close-up view for you so you can see that one and then we'll kind of report back after I'm all done here okay so here's my second one here and uh, I think even in this kind of close-up it's a little tough to see so I'm gonna point to it kind of clean off my, my hiking pole right there and um, it's got this leaf on it kind of wrapped around uh, that side there so it makes it a little tough to see so it'll be interesting to kind of see you know, haven't even really gotten these things cleaned off yet um, kind of how big that they are and again how many of these I can find here um, these are black mushrooms um, see what we can do here I'm excited and uh, I'm gonna report back so appreciate you hanging out with us and uh, off to a good start to the day all right guys um, I'm back here um, so I took a look at these blacks and um, you know, personally, I kind of thought maybe it's a little late in the season for blacks. I know that uh, some folks have been finding those, you know, week, week and a half ago. And um, it might be time to find some grays and some uh, some yellow sponge morels at this point. Um, so thought, you know, hey, maybe just these two here. Been looking for probably, I don't know, feels like a long time, but, you know, five, ten minutes. Um maybe we'll just say and I um, was just about ready to call it quits and uh, found another one here and again it's kind of wasn't super easy to see just gonna kind of point it out for you here um, a little bit leaning over again kind of covered by some some leaves and you know, I checked on the other two they're, they're not the most uh, fresh I still think they're you know pickable edible things like that so um, uh, of interest as well, um, all three of these that I found, they are probably about seven or eight feet apart. Um, so, you know, again, as you, you find something, um, you know, kind of scout around, you know, walk five feet, um, and, a, you know, get, get five feet away, um, and then crouch down and then, and then just, you know, take a look and, uh, and see what you see Kind of scan your eyes, kind of in a, as much of a 360 as you can kind of both directions and kind of do that around the perimeter of, of every mushroom that you find you just kind of keep going in that circle and and looking and you know again you found one that's often the hardest part so usually when there's one there's more and that's just a really good technique just to kind of circle around and um, crouch down and again you want to almost see from different angles because sometimes they're hidden like this and can be you know somewhat somewhat hard to find so um was, was pretty happy here to, to kind of spot this one again um a little bit of a close-up here for you we can kind of see it just a little bit better see that that black head there you kind of clear this away a little bit you can kind of see it side there So again, okay, not too bad a shape. Um, you know, probably probably not gonna last a whole lot longer uh, out here as is, and <laughs> kind of growing sideways at this point. But uh, excited for that. I'm definitely gonna um, bring that home with me. Hey guys, um, gonna call it a morning. Uh, get a little more rain um, than kind of I was wanting to get into today. I brought a rain jacket um, just because that would get a little bit of sprinkles, but. Um, Ran a little more than I than I want to be out in, and, and we found a few, and um, so yeah, we're gonna throw a smile up for that. Um, haven't got blanked this year, and uh, I still think there's a couple weeks left um, in the season. So stay at it. Um, hopefully, uh, you learned a few things here today, and uh, we'll uh, keep on this journey together. Um, and I just appreciate uh, everyone who's uh, taking a chance to watch, like subscribe uh, i ring the bell as uh, my kids say um and um hopefully uh, a lot more fun with us on our indiana journey here uh, in uh, bloomington indiana and uh, god bless and stay with us